Hey everyone, Tesla Tom here. Thanks so much for joining me on my YouTube channel where I discuss Tesla, electric vehicles and renewable energy. If this is your first time to the channel, hello and welcome. Please take a moment to hit that red subscribe button. That way you stay informed of any new content and it also helps my channel to grow as well. Today we're going to look at software update 2020.44.10.1 in our Tesla Model 3 Performance Stealth here in Sydney, Australia. We're going to do that and much more right after this. Alright guys, so we've actually had two software updates drop this week. They're coming thick and fast for our Tesla Model 3 here in Sydney, Australia. If you want to look at the release notes from 2020.44, I suggest you have a look at the link above me and also in the link in the description below where I go through all the release notes. For 2020.44.10.1 today, there's nothing new except for minor improvements and bug fixes. So what we're going to do today is actually go on Pennant Hills Road northbound from uh, the M2 uh, entrance and we're going to see how long that takes given that now we've got the North Connects tunnel uh, to get all the trucks off the road. And if you've spent any time at all in Sydney, you know what a bottleneck Pennant Hills Road has been all these years. But now with the tunnel, times, travel times should have improved by now. And at the same time, we're going to do an autopilot challenge as well on Pennant Hills Road. So we're going to kill two birds with one stone, so to speak. But I certainly don't condone killing any birds. It's just a saying. All right, guys. All right, guys, I'm just on the M2 at the moment. Let me just show you the release notes. Uh, for this update, like I said, nothing new apart from what was uh, already described in 2020.44 and uh, this is minor uh, improvements and bug fixes. I'm actually currently on the M2 at the moment going westbound and uh, about to hit the Pennant Hills Road exit because what I want to do, like I said, is go onto Pennant Hills Road and do an autopilot challenge there and see how long it takes now that the North Connects Tunnel is now in operation. Of course, if you haven't seen my North Connects Tunnel video yet, which I recorded on opening day, please have a look at that as well up here and also in the description below as well. So I'll uh, just show you the autopilot settings here. Uh, I've got it on, uh, I've got full self-driving installed on this car. Uh, so there, all the options there on Mad Max mode, not that it really matters uh, for basic autopilot. And I've got no offset currently uh, for uh, autopilot speed limit. All right, so it's just coming up to the uh, Pennant Hills Road exit, like I said. We are going to try and avoid the North, the North Connects today. Just use Pennant Hills Road. By the way, if you want to go on the M2 um, from the city to the Central Coast and beyond using North Connects, you actually have to surface uh, from the M2 onto the Pennant Hills Road and then into North Connects. So I, this is a potential source of bottleneck, uh, you know, in the mornings or in the afternoons during peak hour. So uh, keep that in mind as well, guys. So here we go, I've never seen this before. I've never used uh, Pennant Hills Road since North Connects opened. So what I want to do is actually go on to, oh, do you see that? The uh, speed limit actually dropped by itself. That's the first time I've seen that. There you go. Interesting. So I wonder whether that was a fix from, uh, from 44 uh, to 44.10.1. Uh, I was on a multi-lane road on an exit, albeit but still a multi-lane road nonetheless. So that's nice. All right, so I want to signal right to go onto uh, Pennant Hills Road. I'm probably going to exit autopilot because I can't obviously turn on autopilot at the stage. Okay, so turning right onto Pennant Hills Road let now. So like I said, this is a potential source of a traffic jam uh, once traffic increases, uh, you know, post COVID. If you want to go from M2 onto North Connects Tunnel, which is just there ahead of us there, as you can see in the left lane, uh, there is a slip into the uh, North Connects Tunnel there, as you can see. Well, what we'll do today is go onto Pennant Hills Road and just get into the middle lane. That's what I like to do, cruise in the middle. There's the tunnel there, as you can see on my left. Okay, so it doesn't uh, match the road limit uh, going up. So I'm just going to manually tap that myself to uh, get to 70. Uh, this may not be a full autopilot challenge because I've got a feeling it's going to take less 
than 20 minutes to get from this point, the M2 junction, up to the M1 entrance at Warunga, given that now the North Connect is in operation uh, and the traffic is a lot better on this road. But we'll do what we can. And of course, guys, uh, now autopilot is always beta. Beta? 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 Uh, so hands on the wheel, eyes on the road at all times. Certainly not full self-driving by any means at this stage. And uh, for those of you who've been following me, you know that um, uh, you know Tesla has um, enabled Go On Green uh, for our traffic lights here. So if you are not the lead car, then uh, the traffic light, if it's green, you get to go ahead. There's the gantry above us there for trucks. So trucks are not allowed to use Penny Hills Road anymore unless you can prove that you are going to a destination on this road or off this road. Uh, but if you're caught on this road as a truck, I'm not exactly sure what the, um, the ruling is or what def definition is for a truck, uh, then you'll be fined quite a lot of money. So that situation there, I was the lead car through a green, so I had to uh, engage or confirm the green light with my foot on the accelerator. I can also confirm that with my uh, drive stalk here um, as well. So once again, I am the lead car, so I'm confirming once again. And I don't know what you've noticed, guys, but um, there's no trucks on this road. Like, it's an absolute miracle what they've done to this road. Like, I know it's a Sunday afternoon, 12.45 p.m., uh, during COVID, but nonetheless, 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 the trucks keep rolling on despite the pandemic. And I've been on this road uh, earlier this year when the North Connects wasn't in operation yet, and there were still a lot of trucks, less cars, but still the number of trucks remain constant. Um, they've totally wrecked this road, particularly the middle lanes. You can see all the potholes and things, but it's nice to drive on this road finally without uh, any of those massive uh, trucks on this road. So. You know, I've got to say, hats off to the uh, New South Wales government for doing this, uh, for giving the road back to the residents as well. Coming up to a speed camera, this is a, var a variable speed camera, it's uh, 40 kilometers an hour on a school day normally. One that does catch a lot of people out, but today we are cruising along at 70 nicely. It's just amazing, I'm sorry, I'm in absolute awe of how smooth this journey is like i said we are not going to get to 20 minutes at all on this road uh it's just because it's just there's just no trucks on either side of this road it's an absolute miracle oh sorry no there's one but even then that's not a oh no it's a fairly big truck okay obviously their destination is uh either their destination is on this road or they're going to get a fine um autopilot unable to proceed let's see why i've got a feeling because the lane the, the, the car cannot pick up the lanes because this intersection is so wide. So let's see, this might be our first disengagement. Because it's asking me to take over. Yeah, okay, I'm hanging onto the wheel here uh, quite tightly, but hey, no, seems okay. We seemed okay there, we, uh, we got through. Yeah, I've got a feeling because the lane markings weren't very good on that side through that intersection. That was a very sharp break. Again, that was the lead car, so I had to confirm Possibly due to a, t the, a testament to how few cars and trucks there are now on this road that I've actually had to confirm green so many times on this road. Uh, so it's quite amusing almost. Um, having lived in Sydney my uh, almost my whole life. Um, oh, that's close to that side. Oh, I'm hanging on for dear life here. Jeez, that, I tell you what, autopilot still likes to hug that right lane right side of the lane very closely and I got very close to that SUV next to me there the blue one um, the left, the left lane doesn't seem too bad like it does still stay in the middle but I've got to say it went left side I mean uh, but when when I when you turn left the car likes to veer to the right side still that remains an issue uh, through all the updates which is a little bit frustrating um, back what I was saying Penny Hills Road um, growing up used to look like this I've got to say unless my memory is completely wrong but there used to be less trucks and um, and then over the years I think gradually you just notice uh, the more and more vehicles and more and more trucks on this road using it as a go-between um, the M2 motorway and uh, the M1 um, M1 motorway so yeah I'm hoping um, the New South Wales government or whoever's in charge of these roads 
this particular stretch of road will uh, redo this road and relay some of the potholes um, and the grooves that the big trucks have uh, carved out over the years. So now I'm the third vehicle, so this car, my car should just continue on without me having to engage. And although having said that, I still had to push my accelerator pedal. I'm not sure why there. I mean, that uh, caravan ahead of me was not going all that quick, so... Not perfect by any means just yet, of course. Uh, so we're already hitting um, Thornley. Uh, I know that it's Thornley because of the big McDonald's there. Um, that's the Commonara Parkway on my right, which goes to the North Shore. And uh, normally it would take a long time with all the trucks, and it would be a bit of a hairy ride uh, trying to avoid all the trucks as well. I think we're only about five minutes in to the autopilot challenge. <laughs> like I said, it's going to be a short video. Um, I'm not going to get to 20, which is fine. I'm not complaining at all, honestly. It's a good thing. Well, I might actually have to... Um, Oh, I noticed too on the map that uh, it's been updated. You can see the North Connects Tunnel going through um, the map now. That certainly wasn't present in my first video um, or what I did on North Connects on opening day. So that's good. Good to see maps have been updated. Very nice. So I think very soon we're coming up to, um, to Normanhurst. Then um, we're going to touch Warunga as we uh, get onto the uh, M1 motorway. I think, you see, I was going to go on the Pacific Highway um, after, but because we've got so much time, I might actually show you how to get onto the M1 from Pennant Hills Road. Um, and then maybe even come back the other way to show what it looks like coming back southbound too, since we've got so much time. So we might do that. That's fine. Uh, time is good. Time is precious. Alright, that time I uh, didn't need to confirm. I guess maybe it was a shorter intersection. Like I said, this road is just... Look at this. Oh, whoa. Did not uh, see that fire truck. Uh, whoa, gave me a bit of a, bit of a fright there. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Concentrating on, uh, on the driving, but... Um, Got through okay there. I think it uh, took a few people off notice too, off guard as well, so um, not intentional. Alright, so we, like I said, we are very close to the M1 uh, motorway entrance. But as I was saying, um, it's gliding through the uh, intersections quite nicely, uh, following this caravan ahead of me. Okay, so here we go. I can see um, the sign up there for North Connects, which uh, I did not know, but you can actually enter North Connects from this point. That's interesting. So I, I didn't realize you could do that, but you can enter it from Pennant Hills Road. Uh, it's a right, right lane only for that, uh, for that purpose. So I'm going to disengage autopilot now and turn right here. I don't want to go back on the North Connects, but I want to get on the M1 northbound to show you um, the southbound entrance. There we go, there is a North Connects entry point from this area, which is interesting. If you wanted to, to go back the other way, for whatever reason, there it is on my right, but I want to go on the Pacific Motorway, which I can see will uh, join up with the uh, M1 entrance from uh, the Pacific Highway on my right there. There we go. That's for trucks on my left. Okay, so here we go. That's um, that's good. That was fairly smooth. Well signed, which is nice. Uh, unusual in Sydney. Sometimes the signage isn't always great. Uh, that to my left might be the Warunga, uh, Warunga Pennant, um, Pacific Highway entrance. All right, guys. Well, that's it. That's uh, Pennant Hills Road northbound. Um, as an appendix to this video, I'm going to show you the southbound entrance because um, I'm going to get off at the Mount Collar exit, turn back around and show you the southbound uh, entry uh, to, for the different options, North Connects, Pacific Highway and uh, Penny Hills Road. So um, stay tuned, I'll be back very shortly.
Alright guys, back on the M1 motorway, or at least about to uh, on-ramp onto it, uh, southbound, just a little turn around at the Mount Cola exit. I'm going to engage autopilot here and just see how well it merges uh, with the rest of the freeway. Let's see what it does here. Yeah, that's not too bad. Oh, wow. Okay, I had to really take over. That, that was a hairy, hairy merge. <laughs> I've seen my mate Tesla Australia done that a few times uh, uh, in his neck of the woods up here in the Central Coast, but that was a really hairy, um, really hairy on-ramp there. First of all, it merged very late, didn't slow down to allow <laughs> this grey car ahead of me forward, and then uh, when it tried to get in, it was a really sharp ride, and then I had to take over because I didn't want to risk that going further into the other lane. Uh, Apologise to the car behind me and in front of me if I, it looked a bit funny. Anyway, uh, that's why, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you've got to hang onto the wheel when you uh, engage autopilot. Okay, so um, back at what I was doing, uh, that's the um, freeway exit sign there, and it's finished, kaput, complete. Um, I'm going to show you the options available to you when you do arrive in Sydney from the central coast of Newcastle, heading southbound on the M1. I'm going to go on the middle lane, because I believe that's where I want to be. So go on the Pennant Hills Road. So there are the options there, left lane is for the North Connects and the right lanes are for Pennant Hills Road and possibly uh, Pacific Highway. We'll have a look. Um, I'm going to scroll down because, oh not yet, no, that's only 80 ahead so I can afford to leave it on 110 for now. There we go, there's the uh, electronic signboard, North Connects, left lanes, right lanes, Pennant Hills Road, Pacific Highway. Um, Last time I used this road, I was yeah, filming that video, that opening day video for North Connect, so I was focused on the left side, but today I want to be on the right. It's now 80, I um, don't know why the, the car is not complied, so I will roll this down myself so we don't get in trouble. There you go, Pacific Highway on the right. Okay, that's fine. There we go, so North Connect's on the left. You want to go in the tunnel, right is the surface roads. And I guess once we get to this bit, it'll be like the old days where you've got the option of Pacific Highway or Pennant Hills Road. Indeed we do. There we go. Alright guys, well um, that's kind of the video. Uh, that's my um, software update 2020.44.10.1. Wow, they are becoming a mouthful, aren't they? Um, <laughs> point this, point that. Um, and uh, autopilot challenge and uh, a bit of an infotainment video for you I'm going to take it off now that was just too weird didn't like that uh, at all um, yeah and also a bit of um, entertainment information for you uh, regarding the um, Pennant Hills Road improvement with less cars and trucks and also um, the options available to you when you go southbound from the M1 motorway heading into Sydney Go the fast way through North Connects, you can go through Pacific Highway, you can go down Penny Hills Road. So many options, guys. Thanks so much for joining us. I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a like, a thumbs up, I really appreciate that. And of course, subscribe if you haven't done so already yet. And uh, have you tried software update 2020 point 44.10.1? Have you tried North Connects yet if you live in Sydney? Uh, have you tried Pennant Hills Road since the improvements? Um, have you found less trucks on the road? Has your commute been better here on the north side of Sydney? I would love to hear from you with regards to those questions on any of those topics. Guys, stay safe. I'll see you at the next software update. And until next time, happy charging.